Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to do a season three Bridgerton trailer reaction. So I know we're like super late into the like reactions to season three trailers, but I actually just watched it last night, which is the Friday before the new season dropped. So that was my first time watching it because we were doing a watch along for the series, which has been so much fun. We just did the season two live show right before I'm hopping on to a film of this. And I know I have said before, like I did a season three, like the little teaser reaction. And I said in that how I loathed season two the first time I watched it. Those feelings are still valid for that first watch, but I will say this time I actually just rewatched it a couple nights ago and so rewatched it for the watch along that we had like a live chat about the show as well as just kind of like gearing up for season three and I will say this time I actually enjoyed the show so there is that like season two I hated before just because of the fact that it diverted so much from the books and I went in expecting like a full kind of adaptation of how season one was pretty much from book one like a good adaptation of it they kind of stuck to the books and so in season two so that's kind of the turn of the end of episode three into episode four where I realized we weren't following the books anymore and I got upset because that's one of my favorite books in the series so I still have feelings about that they're still valid you know it's a thing but this time I appreciated it a lot more just for the fact that I didn't reread the book right ahead of time like and have all these expectations of expecting it to stick to the book so this time I kind of knew what to expect knew what was going to happen I knew the changes were made so this time I could appreciate it for what it was I wasn't rage watching I wasn't rage yelling at the tv of all the changes you know so I could just appreciate it more so I am super glad that I did that and rewatched it to what two and and a half years later since it dropped and it actually got me really excited for season three which like I said before I wasn't excited for season three that much but I recently reread the book as well as I like I said watched the show and then I finally am gonna watch the season three trailer so I'm so excited because I haven't reacted to it yet and I wasn't planning to because like so much time has passed but now it's coming up this week and I feel like I want to do it just to get like the hype up and like have a whole Bridgerton week of videos on my channel so let's just do it. So I am going to pull up the trailer and I'm gonna pause it and react and talk about moments that I'm noticing in it and kind of like clocking things and see what I think of it being a show watcher. Obviously I watched season one and two as well as a book reader. Like I've read all the books in the series. So let's get into it. Let me pull it up. I have to screen record as well. So let's do all of those things. Let me remember how to do this as well because you know, it's been a minute. Okay. Dearest gentle reader. Okay, so we already, let me back it up. Hold on, we're gonna rewatch that part. Party, ball. Okay, we have this moment right here and we're obviously seeing Colin show up in his very like Western vibe, which I think they said they were kind of going with like the cowboy coming back, you know, that kind of vibe for his character this season. So we're seeing him in the back of a carriage, probably arriving home. So let's continue. Gentle reader, we have been apart for far. Okay, this moment of Penelope is giving everything. I love this actress so much. She's so beautiful. And I love this moment with the candlelight looking stunning. Sorry, I'm gonna be pausing it a ton just to kind of talk as I go, but like it's a reaction video. So what are you expecting? <laughs> Too long. At last, London's fashionable set. Okay, hold up. So we have Francesca, which this is the new casting. They recast the character of Francesca or the actress, I should say, who's playing Francesca. So we have Lady Violet here and Francesca. It looks like she's having her debut because this is the same kind of dress and vibe we've gotten from what Daphne in season one, as well as season two with Eloise and kind of having their debut moments in front of the queen. So loving this moment. I love Francesca. She's my favorite book, which is book six when he was wicked. So I feel like we're kind of getting a look at her new character or new actress as as well as maybe gearing up for her season as well because we have to set that up for what happens in the book. This book is kind of a culmination of many people's stories kind of kicking off. Obviously it's a Penelope and Colin season and a book but also in the books this is when Francesca has already been off and has her situation. She's married, which this is when Francesca in the books has been married and is doing her thing and kind of off. So she needs to kind of, they need to set her up as well as Eloise and Philip have their moment as well of a setup in the background she's writing to him so we'll see if they do that in this season as well because that's what happens in the books at least so let's continue on but I'm loving this moment of the actress for Francesca I think she looks gorgeous and stunning Lady Violet love her like Lady Violet stand forever so let's continue on has made its return 
and it seems that our bon ton is... Okay, so we've got some Kate and Anthony moments. I know they did say we're gonna see more of them in this season because people were kind of upset with what we didn't get. What we didn't get from season two was more romantic moments between Kate and Anthony. We got at the very end of the season and like I personally feel like we could have given in a little bit more episodes to that end of that season just to kind of flush out because of all the trauma and drama they go through in that season. We needed some of their happy moments. So I am glad we'll see more of them in this. This is also what Will and his wife. It's so curious to see what happens with them because in the season one, he was like a former boxer, prize fighter type situation, as well as season two, he opened up his new club. So we're gonna see them as well. Okay, wait a minute. At last, London's fashionable set has made its return. And it seems that our bon ton is moving with the change. This moment right here between Eloise and Cressida. Cressida looks stunning and amazing. So does Eloise, but also what's happening here because Cressida's like mean girl vibe. So what's, why, why is Eloise with Cressida? What's happening? Changing tide. So too is this author. I cannot live at home any longer. I must take a husband. Does my lady have a suitor in mind? <gasps> okay, so I was excited to gasp about this moment because this is like a callback or a moment of the cover you can see there with a little handkerchief. So kind of love that, that that's happening. And we get a little bit of a nod to the original book, but yeah, kind of loving that moment. Let's continue on. Is that a brother? Colin. Excuse me, Colin. Brother, under what foreign sun did you apparently get so sturdy? <laughs> Colin came back glowed up. Oh, it's good to see you. Is it? Something more. Seems as though every Bridgeton was born to attract notice. Kate and Anthony. Ooh, Francesca. This is very slight. If our husband is what you see, let me help you. Are we not friends? Oh, were they having like a little bargain setup of him possibly helping her with future suitors? Kind of love that. I love the whole like friends and lovers, but let me help you find a suitor, but then also fall for you and get jealous and possessive because nobody can have you but me. Are we going to have that in this season? That's what it's giving me. <laughs> I should like to see your skills as they are first. How delightful to see you all. <laughs> the splendid weather we are having. <laughs> Her trying to flirt right there. Hilarious. Love that moment. I will not be angry if I'm to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. Yes, she is. She's not seen husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Since when are you worried about Penelope? Ooh. Oh, I think he's seen her in a new light as the candle lights as well. What this author knows to be true is that diamonds are not the only gems that sparkle. Okay. Giving everything. This whole glam emerald moment with her sheer kind of gloves as well. Gorgeous. Green looks stunning on her. I love this moment. Excuse me? You have done very well, Penelope. What more could you want? Mother, do you believe the best foundation for love is friendship? It is rare, but you must follow your heart. Oh, so this like new character, Lord Debling, I think is what they said. Curious to see how he's going to play into it. Obviously, like she possibly has another man to contend with her affections and attention. Love that Colin is kind of like having his moments with his mother, with Lady Violet, and talking to her about is friendship really the true basis of like a love relationship and all of that because he's obviously feeling conflicted about his feelings at this time and kind of watching and seeing her maybe in a new light. Love that. <laughs> Okay, we have Francesca here looking at a photo of her parents of Edmund and Violet up on the wall. So we're definitely getting more of Francesca in here and I feel like we're setting up her season as well. This is along our part. Okay, we just saw a ton of moments of Lady Violet and possibly her having a love interest, which I'm super curious how they're gonna handle that because of how they handled things with Queen Charlotte, kind of set up some things for her character possibly. That's super interesting. We also saw some of Kate and Anthony, again, being happy and in love and dancing. We saw some of Will and his wife. Love that we're getting some like married couple moments. And then this with Penelope and Colin. Is it our minds or our hearts?
All right, so that was super interesting. Like I said, I'm actually kind of excited now for season three, especially after coming off of a rewatch of season two, which I swore I would never do. But I'm actually glad I did and that I knew I had like different expectations and I enjoyed the show overall and I'm really excited to get back with the family. I'm excited for season three and to see where it's gonna go. I'd love to see if you have like theories or comments or things that you think are gonna be happening or wish will be happening in season three. I'm curious if we're gonna keep it close to the original of what the book is. I feel like a little bit with the whole like friends to lovers aspect but maybe we're going off the book which I'm not as mad about because now I know what to expect from them because of what they did with season two. So I'm curious what's going to happen there. I'm kind of just here for a friends to lovers setup. I'm not super sold on the actor for Colin personally. That's not who like I picture and see as Colin and like I don't know I don't see their chemistry personally of the two actors together. I love the actress for Penelope so much. Love her. And I'm just excited, like I said, for another historical romance adaptation. I wish we got more of other shows, but maybe this will like reinsurge that energy out there. So I would love to see that happen. <laughs> Which actually we just got off the live show, like I said, and Ava was talking about in there how people on like TikTok and there's some theories out there of the whole like Emerald of the season instead of the Diamond of the season and how possibly Penelope is going to be named the Emerald of the season. How we even had like a little voiceover moment of Lady Whistledown saying like diamonds aren't the only gems or they don't shine the brightest or something like that so possibly and like with all of her emerald green gown and all of those moments maybe that's what's going to happen with her and her get all these new suitors I am here for that for the whole like jealousy possessiveness of Colin seeing Penelope with other people but like I said I want it true to their foundation of friends so I'm excited and yeah that's all I have this was just like a really quick video just reacting to the trailer for season three I'm excited we have like what five days to go when this video is going up so yeah definitely let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts, theories about the book, about the season, about the show, the characters, the actors, <laughs> any of those things. Let me know all things. Season three, Penelope and Colin, Bridgerton in the comments. If you'd rather leave me an emoji in the comments and said today to let me know that you watched this video, leave me the diamond emoji. I was looking to see if there's an emerald emoji, but there's not because I would totally do that as like the emerald of the season. But let's go with the diamond because the diamond of the season for the show. So yeah, definitely do that. Like I said, let me know all the things in the comments of the video. Let me know if you are planning on watching season three when it drops. If you're going to binge it, kind of stretch it out and watch it slowly. Let me know all the things. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.